I want to walk you through how to effectively record clips into Ableton Live. Um, to start with, I've got a drum beat here and the tempo is set to 87 BPM. Also note the one bar here. This is the global launch quantization. And this setting, uh, where it's currently at one bar, you can change it of course, but I like the one bar setting a lot. Uh, it means that whenever you press play on a clip or record or stop, that action is gonna happen at the beginning of the next bar. So what I'm gonna do here now is record a one, five, six, four in C major. So C major, G major, a, a minor and F major, and I'm going to play each chord for one bar. Therefore, my clip is going to be exactly four bars long. The chord will start at the beginning of the clip, and the clip will loop around at the end of the last chord. Uh, before you even record, you need to make sure you can play the chords the way you want them to sound. It's really important that you practice it first. So, for instance, here I'll get my beat going, and then I'm going to I'm going to play the chords. Starting in one, two, here's C major. Two, three, four, G major, A minor, and then F major. And it's important to make sure you can do that first before you do anything else. So now that I've done that, I'm ready to record. So what I'm gonna do first to make sure I can start recording at the start of the bar is I'm going to get the beat going first, get my hands in position, uh, on the keyboard and with my other hand I'm going to push record in the bar before I'm going to start recording. When I push it in that bar uh, the red record light will flash here and then it'll start recording at the beginning of the next bar. Here's what's going to happen. One, two, three, four. Two, three, I press the play and it loops around. So you see there, uh, once again, I, I hit record before I was ready and that way um, I started, I played the chord as the clip began. It gives me a few seconds to get started and then the clip, uh, the chord starts at the beginning of the clip and you can see when I push the red play button uh, after I'd played my last chord in this bar, at the beginning of the next bar, or at the end of that bar I should say, uh, it went from red recording into green uh, play mode. I'll do it again with a different chord progression. This time I'll do something in A minor, I guess. Here we go. So uh, I'll choose a different tempo this time. I'll go down to 72. Okay, so there's my beat. I'll practice what I'm going to play first. Let's say A minor, F, G, and then E7. Okay, actually I might just go, yeah, E7, like that, or G sharp diminished. So I'm gonna start my beat, here we go, and I'll get ready in the next bar, and a one, it's flashing, two, three, four, start. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And here's that G sharp diminished. And then hit that and you see it looped around again. Of course, one thing you could also do, uh, if I try that one again, let's say I wanted to do, uh, let's say I wasn't ready with my other hand to press stop. Uh, I could let it go one extra bar and then fix it afterwards. So I'll do the same progression, but this time I'll leave an extra bar and touch it up afterwards to make sure, as you can see down here, the bar length is uh, the clip length is exactly four bars. So here's the same one again, but I'll make a mistake at the end this time with the clip length. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. And I was so busy that I didn't realize I had to press stop and I let it go an extra bar, press stop now. And now you can see I have a clip that's um, five bars long, which is problematic because if I want it to loop around, I've got an extra bar of space at the end. It's really easy to fix. There's two ways. I can either grab the loop uh, controller here and drag it back to the beginning of bar five. And you can see now it's exactly four bars long. Command Z to undo that. 
Or I can go down here where it says length 5, just click on that, type 4, hit enter, and it's now the right length, and now it loops around properly. It starts again at the beginning of the, the next round of four bars. Uh, I hope you found that informative.